All right, now we're going to talk about the kickoff in the CEFL. And you'll see the Dolphins are lined up on the 35-yard line. This is important. We've seen a couple of mistakes with this. The 35-yard line is where the NFL moved the kickoffs to, so that's where it is. Unlike the field goal and the punt, where the ball starts 10 yards past the line of scrimmage, in this case the ball starts 20 yards past the line of scrimmage. The defense is al allowed to be upwards to the 50-yard line. They can face either direction. You'll notice we have the Steelers heading back to help set up the blocking. The board will run for three stops. After the first stop, the ball can of course be adjusted. We'll cover onside kicks in another portion, but for right now, we're just going to go through the three stoppages, and we'll see we have Heinz Ward and Dante Stallworth back here ready to receive the kick. You'll notice we also have uh, Terry Bradshaw, who's you know doing some double duty here <laughs> on special teams. He's going both ways. And Lynn Swan. <laughs> and they're on felts along with the kick returners. You were allowed to have um, up to five guys because at this point they are the defense. So they're going to have these two on felts and they're going to be that uh, first layer of blocking. We'll get back to why there's two guys at the goal line here. You can have one or two or three if you want to back there. In this case we'll show two which is pretty much a standard setup. So we're going to run the board here. It's three full stops. There is no snap stoppage. Anytime the ball's in play, basically, anytime the ball and the base is in play, there's never a snap stop. So, we're going to run the board. And again, the Dolphins have the ball, technically, because until the Steelers have received it. And they're going to make their adjustments. They'll say set. The Steelers now start to turn around and they're going to set up their blocks, especially with the first level here. Try and get some guys in here, get some people picked up on the, on the mess. Um, before the offense set, they can, of course, adjust the ball, which we'll do there. But um, the def and the return team is going to keep their guys on the felts here for one more, because they want to set up their blocking. So we're going to run the board for a second stoppage. All right, the second stop happens. The ball can no longer be adjusted, so the return team has a pretty good idea where it's going. So, the Dolphins are going to adjust to get their guys going downfield. Now, this looks like it. Now, they're going to say set, and here's where a little strategy for the Steelers comes in. Like Bugs Bunny says, always good to have a little strategy. So, these guys are going to come off of their felts and they're going to go after what they deem as the first threats downfield. Now you notice we had two guys here ready to return the kick. One of those players is going to be placed at the ball when the board stops and that's the returner. We know the ball is going to be on this side so we're going to have this returner catch the ball which means Heinz Ward is going to come off of his base right now and be the first blocker. Now, same thing as per usual with the ball on a base. If somebody runs into it, figure it out. And the Steelers are going to adjust the rest of their blocking. Basically just getting bodies in the way. Alright, so this is going to be the third stop. After the third stop, we've decided... Who did we decide? Dante Stallworth is going to be the return man. He'll be placed where the ball is, same way as we do a punt. All right, here we go. Now, so the ball's kicked off to the six-yard line. The same rule we talked about with punting is also in effect on kickoffs. If any of the Dolphins players had made it past the ball, it could be counted as a touchback with the Steelers taking the ball on the 20, or say the ball had stopped on the 35, the Steelers could have taken a fair catch and taken the ball at the 35 if a Dolphins player had run past. That hasn't happened, so our return goes on as normal. Stallworth coming off of his base, goes to where the ball is, the ball's removed, 
felts off, and now there's three stoppages for the Steelers on the return. It's looking awfully grim at this point, as they didn't get a lot of good blocks up the field. But the Steelers are going to adjust first. Let's get Bradshaw in there. And he can make a block. <laughs> I know it might be the first in Terry's career, but that's okay. And then once they say set... He's no Dan Marino. No, he's no Dan Marino. <laughs> so, the Dolphins are then going to make their adjustments to try and make the tackle. And that's it. So now what the Steelers are hoping for is Heinz Ward here can make a block on Zach Thomas and maybe open up a bit of a hole here and salvage a bit out of the return. So, here's the first stoppage. Since it was probably a tackle, we'd have to look on the instant replay, but we're going to say it's not. We're going to say we're going to say Dante squeezed through here. Then the Steelers, again, there's Terry Bradshaw making a block. What a trooper. The Steelers are going to make their adjustments according. accordingly. And then they'll say set. Stallworth is now looking to cut up the field. The Dolphins are going, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. And they're going to turn around and try and get, uh, try and get everybody back. Now here's a good example. We have two bases touching here. We have Alindo Mari and Patrick Sertan. Their bases are touching, but they're on the same team so they can be adjusted. So they are going to adjust accordingly. And now we're going to run the board and see what happens here. And we have a clear tackle by Alindo Mari here at the 32. The Steelers would take over. Again, you didn't need front base tackling because it's a kick return. And that is very simply how you do a kickoff in the CEFL.